The number of workers testing positive for marijuana after an on-the-job accident is the highest it's been in 25 years. That's according to data from the testing company Quest Diagnostics. It comes as more than uh, more of the majority of states have legalized either recreational or medical cannabis use. Our Stephanie Haynes is live this morning with more on this story. So, Stephanie, people are having an on-the-job incident, like a workers' comp situation, but they're getting tested, and it's found that they are high, basically. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or testing positive for marijuana based on that test, Adrian. And this is really tricky. It's catching companies by surprise. And Quest Diagnostics, based on their data, they have tested more than 10 million people in all of 2022. And this is what their data is showing, is more than 7% of those tests are coming back positive for marijuana after on-the-job accidents. And that number, that percentage, has been going up ever since 2012. In these 10 years, the data shows the number of positive marijuana tests went up more than 200 percent. 38 states plus the District of Columbia have legalized either recreational or medical cannabis use. It still remains illegal on the federal level. The DEA lists it as a Schedule I drug, which means it has high risk abuse, uh, high abuse risk, and no safe medical use. Now, I spoke with an employment attorney who says companies have a lot to consider. They have to consider safety standards as well as any potential legal challenges. They also have to think about how to retain workers in this tight labor market and how laws or policies may vary state to state if they have remote or employees that work from home. It's more important than ever that companies try to walk this delicate tightrope and figure out a way to balance the reality that while they want to have a safe workforce, and clear policies that it has to be done in a way that is HR friendly to make sure that the rules of the road are set in place. The data also found that all drugs, all drug tests across the board, whether it is to get the job or on the job, are also reaching a 20 year high. And Quest Diagnostics finds that this is really spanning the gambit of industries. You know, it's they're seeing rises in financial, insurance, uh, food services, and even retail, Adrian. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much.